In tonight's top stories, President Abdullah Yamin is to make an official visit to Sri Lanka. Heavy rain showers since last night has caused flooding on the roads of Male. And nine candidates have submitted their applications for the vacant post of Judge of the High Court. Abdullah Yamin is to make an official visit to Sri Lanka. According to spokesperson at the President's office, Ibrahim Moaz Ali, President Yamin will make an official visit to Sri Lanka during this month on invitation of Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajpaksa. No further details were provided regarding the visit. While some media reports said that President's official visit to Pakistan had been cancelled, Moaz confirmed that those reports were not true. He said that President Yamin had postponed the trip due to the current political situation of Pakistan. He did not reveal any date for the visit to Pakistan. Heavy rain showers since last night has caused flooding on the roads of Male. This has posed several difficulties for pedestrians and motorbike riders. The busiest roads of Male being flooded has made it a challenge for people going to work and school, especially during the rush hour. While flooded roads are a common sight in Male during the rainy season, Male City Council has not yet found a solution to the issue. While complaints against the MDP-led City Council for its failure to address the issue are on rise, it's noteworthy that the Council had only worked to promote the opposition's political activities and drama profits from leasing off various plots of land in Male to private companies. Even now, the Council is not making any visible efforts to resolve the issue. However, the Council had signed an agreement worth 500,000 rupiah with M MWSC last month to find a solution to the issue. While the Council says that the agreement will solve the issue to some extent, the project will not find a permanent solution to the problem. According to the Met Office, within the next 24 hours, scattered rain with a, he with a few heavy showers and thunderstorms will be experienced in central and northern atolls. Except a few showers, it will be a mainly fine in the south. Surface winds will vary between 5 and 13 miles per hour in southern atolls and 3 to 13 miles per hour elsewhere. Winds may gust 30 miles per hour during showers. Seas are expected to be slight and becoming moderate during showers. Nine individuals have submitted their applications for the vacant post of Judge of the High Court. According to the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, the applications were from, from six male and three female candidates. The applicants are Civil Court Judge Aisha Shujun, UNDP Assistant Resident Representative Aisha Trizna, Civil Court Judge Mariam Nihayat, Civil Court Judge Hussein Mazid, Civil Court Judge Abdullah Jamil Musa, Criminal Court Judge Mutaz Fahmi, Chief Judge of Family Court Hassan Said, Criminal Court Judge Abdullah Didi, and Merit Register of Hulmale Court Hassan Ali. The application was opened from 18th to 31st August 2014, following the transfer of High Court Judge Ahmad Sharif to the Juvenile Court. A new regulation was published in August 2014 regarding a secret ballot for the appointment of judges to the High Court. The regulation states that JSC will take secret votes for each applicant in the order of scores attained during the interview. In the event that two people earn the same score, this will be decided by drawing lots. The regulation, which also details the procedure on giving points, states that applicants who fail to secure at least 50% in the evaluation will be disqualified. Asanda's medical
medical director Aminat Zenia says that a maximum of four air tickets will be sponsored per year to a patient traveling abroad for treatment under the unlimited health insurance scheme. Speaking to the TV on the scheme, Zenia said that major efforts are underway to expand and strengthen services afforded to the public under the scheme. She said that one major effort is now is to solve the issue of medicine shortage and facilitate access to medicine for the public. She said that changes have been brought to the policy whereby tickets are funded for patients traveling abroad since the 12th of August. She said that while four tickets are to be sponsored per year for a patient, only one ticket will be sponsored for the assistant. However, she said that four tickets will be issued for assistance of children, elderly citizens and the disabled. In addition, speaking on the scheme, the company's assistant manager, Aishad Zamira, said that the geographical makeup of the country poses several difficulties to transporting patients from one region to the other and that major efforts need to be carried out to solve the issue. Zamira said that Arsen, the company, is working to expand its services as part of the agreements have been made with seven Sri Lankan hospitals and 15 Indian hospitals to provide health care services under the Arsen, the scheme. Four individuals who believe to be involved in the case of death by assault with a sharp object claiming the life of Ahmad Mazen of the Gamage Noon Miladu have let their detention periods increased by 15 more days by the criminal court. This is the third time their detention period has been extended. The individuals involved are three 19-year-old local males and a 22-year-old local male, all of who have police records for assault and other crimes. The investigation had previously revealed that Mars was attacked while he was sitting on a bench in Ard Park with a relative. He had suffered, he has suffered 10 lacerations from a sharp object. He was rushed to ADK Hospital before taken to the ICU of IGMH, where he was passed away. The relative with Marzin has since been released from ADK after treatment. This concludes the news for tonight. Thank you for watching. Have a pleasant night. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله بما يعملون محيط وإذ غدوت من أهلك تبوئ المؤمنين مقاعد للقتال والله